In the hallowed halls of ancient Rome, where marble statues stood as immortal tributes to beauty and artistry, a question echoes through the corridors of history. Were these pristine figures left unadorned in their ivory splendor? Or did the hands of ancient artists breathe life into them through the vibrant strokes of paint? Join us on an illuminating journey as we peel back the layers of time to unveil the truth behind the hues that once adorned the sculpted masterpieces of antiquity. As we embark on this exploration, imagine the grandeur of ancient Roman forums, temples and villas adorned with majestic marble statues. The sight is undoubtedly awe-inspiring, but what if these statues, seemingly frozen in time, were once vibrant canvases that captivated the senses with a riot of colors? The notion challenges our perception of classical art, urging us to reconsider the monochromatic facade that time has imposed upon these enduring sculptures. What secrets does the marble veil, and how did the ancient Romans perceive and embellish their artistic treasures? To unravel this mystery, we delve into the historical evidence and contemporary accounts that hint at a more colorful reality beneath the surface. The archaeological record yields traces of pigments and remnants of paint on ancient statues, offering tantalizing glimpses into a world where marble figures wore the rich tapestry of colors like living canvases. But how did these vibrant hues fade into the muted tones that characterize our modern perception of classical art? What forces of time conspired to erase the painted narratives that once breathed life into these statues? As we navigate through the labyrinth of art history, a question emerges. Were the marble statues of ancient Rome, celebrated for their purity and grace, actually vibrant and adorned with intricate pigments? The journey ahead invites us to peer beyond the pale surfaces of classical sculptures and discover the chromatic tales that may lie concealed beneath. Are you ready to unveil the painted secrets of ancient marble statues and in doing so, redefine our understanding of the visual splendor that graced the cities and sanctuaries of ancient Rome? The revelation awaits and the hues of history beckon us to rediscover the colorful legacy of classical art. Our quest to uncover the truth behind the hues that adorned ancient marble statues propels us further into the vibrant tapestry of antiquity. The notion of these revered sculptures being more than mere monochromatic masterpieces challenges our perceptions, inviting us to explore the evidence and narratives that resurrect the once-muted colors of classical art. Examining the remnants of pigments found on ancient statues reveals a palette that extends far beyond the pristine white surfaces we have come to associate with classical sculpture. Recent advancements in archaeological techniques, such as ultraviolet analysis and multispectral imaging, have unveiled traces of reds, blues, greens, and even gold leaf embellishments on what we once perceived as colorless masterpieces. How did these pigments endure the erosive march of time, and what do they tell us about the artistic sensibilities of ancient Rome? Contemporary accounts from the likes of Pliny the Elder and other Roman writers provide glimpses into the vivacity that colored the artistic landscape of ancient Rome. These narratives transport us to a world where statues of gods, emperors, and revered figures were not only monuments of form, but also vibrant expressions of cultural narratives. How did the Romans perceive and celebrate the marriage of form and color in their sculpted masterpieces? The transition from the vividly painted statues of antiquity to the monochromatic sculptures we encounter in museums today raises intriguing questions about the factors that contributed to this transformation. The weathering effects of time, exposure to the elements, and shifts in artistic preferences all played roles in gradually erasing the once dazzling hues of ancient marble statues. How did the passage of centuries contribute to the evolution of our perception of classical art? And what did the loss of color signify for subsequent generations? The rediscovery of polychromy challenges traditional views on classical aesthetics, prompting a reassessment of the role of color in ancient sculpture. Were these statues, with their original vibrancy, more than artistic representations? Did the application of color carry deeper cultural, religious, or political meanings, adding layers of significance to these revered figures? In the chapters that follow, we will delve into specific examples of ancient marble statues that have yielded clues about their original pigmentation. From the majestic figures of gods to the regal portrayals of emperors, each statue tells a story in color. What insights do these individual narratives provide into the artistic conventions and societal values of ancient Rome? The journey continues, and the once faded hues beckon us to reimagine the classical world in its true and vibrant splendor. Are you ready to explore the rich palette of ancient marble statues and witness the resurgence of colors lost to time? The adventure unfolds 
and the chromatic secrets of antiquity await our discovery. As we venture deeper into the kaleidoscope of ancient art, our exploration focuses on specific instances where the veiled colors of marble statues have been rediscovered, breathing life into these stoic figures of antiquity. Each revelation becomes a journey through time, unveiling the hidden narratives and vibrant hues that once adorned these masterpieces. One notable example is the statue of Trajan, the esteemed Roman emperor, whose iconic representation in the Vatican museums has undergone meticulous analysis. Ultraviolet and infrared examinations revealed traces of purple, red, and gold, transforming Trajan from a monochrome sovereign into a resplendent figure adorned with the regality of imperial hues. How does this newfound knowledge reshape our perception of Trajan's rule and the artistic conventions of the time? Moving beyond emperors, we encounter the celebrated depiction of the goddess Artemis from the Louvre Museum. Originally perceived as an austere embodiment of divinity, recent examinations exposed traces of pink, blue, and gold leaf, turning Artemis into a manifestation of ethereal beauty. How does the revelation of color redefine our understanding of the divine in classical art? And what cultural nuances might these vibrant hues signify? The captivating narrative continues with the winged victory of Samothrace, an iconic masterpiece that has graced the Louvre for centuries. Infrared and ultraviolet, imaging unveiled traces of vibrant red pigment on the goddess's lips, breathing warmth and life into the stoic expression of victory. What emotional depth do these subtle details add to the statue's portrayal, and how does color enhance the timeless grace of this ancient sculpture? One cannot ignore the mesmerizing Antinous, a favorite of Emperor Hadrian and a symbol of beauty in classical art. Recent examinations disclose traces of red pigment on the lips, suggesting a meticulous attention to detail in conveying the sensuousness of this revered figure. How does the revelation of color enrich our understanding of ancient perceptions of beauty and desire? The rediscovery of vibrant hues in these revered statues raises intriguing questions about the original intent of ancient artists. Did color serve a symbolic purpose, conveying nuances of emotion, divinity, or status? How did the ancient Romans perceive the fusion of form and color in these sculpted masterpieces? And what messages did they convey to the contemporary viewer? In the upcoming chapters, we will explore additional instances where the restoration of color has transformed our understanding of ancient marble statues. The journey continues and each rediscovered gem invites us to reconsider the narrative of classical art. Are you ready to witness the resurgence of color in the statues of antiquity and unravel the artistic intricacies that have long been concealed beneath the surface? The adventure unfolds and the vibrant secrets of ancient sculpture await our eager exploration. Our quest to revive the colors of ancient marble statues takes us deeper into the annals of art history, where each discovery becomes a brushstroke on the canvas of time. As we venture into the Temple of Statues, our exploration unveils more captivating instances where the hues of antiquity have been reborn, casting a luminous glow on the once muted sculptures. One striking revelation emanates from the renowned Capitoline Venus, a statue celebrated for its embodiment of beauty and grace. Recent analyses have brought forth traces of pigments on the goddess's diaphanous garment, transforming her into a vision of ethereal radiance. How does the revival of color enhance our perception of the classical ideal of beauty embodied in Venus, and what cultural nuances might these newfound hues unveil? The journey continues with the magnificent Hercules of the Forum Boreum, a colossal statue that once stood proudly in the heart of ancient Rome. Through meticulous examination, traces of color have emerged, transforming Hercules from a stoic demigod into a vibrant symbol of strength and valor. What messages do these newfound hues convey about the cultural values associated with heroism and resilience in Roman society? A particularly enchanting discovery unfolds within the serene countenance of the Antinous Mondragoni. Recent examinations of this magnificent bust have revealed traces of pink and golden hues, casting a warm glow on the countenance of Emperor Hadrian's beloved companion. How does the infusion of color redefine our understanding of ancient portraiture, shedding light on the personal connections and emotions embedded in these timeless sculptures? As our journey through the Temple of Statues reaches its zenith, the revelation of vibrant pigments raises broader questions about the purpose and impact of color in ancient art. Did these hues serve as conduits for cultural, religious, or emotional expressions? How did the presence of color transform these statues into living embodiments of the stories and values cherished by the ancient Romans? In our expedition to revive the colors of ancient marble statues, we have traversed a vibrant landscape where monochrome figures have blossomed into resplendent masterpieces. The Temple of Statues stands as a testament to the meticulous efforts of art historians, archaeologists, and scientists who have unraveled the chromatic mysteries of antiquity. 
The resurgent hues of Artemis, Trajan, Winged Victory, and countless others invite us to contemplate the nuanced narratives embedded in each stroke of color. The Temple of Statues becomes a sanctuary where the echoes of the past reverberate in living color, transcending the boundaries of time and beckoning us to witness the rich tapestry of ancient art in its true and vibrant glory. As we stand in the midst of these resplendent sculptures, we are reminded that the colors of antiquity were not mere embellishments, but vital components of a visual language that spoke to the hearts and minds of the ancient Romans. The journey to rediscover these hues has not only transformed our perception of classical art, but has also rekindled the vibrant spirit that once animated these revered statues. In the eternal dance between form and color, the statues of antiquity emerge anew, inviting us to see, feel, and experience the classical world in all its chromatic splendor. As we bid farewell to the Temple of Statues, may the resplendent revival of colors serve as a beacon, guiding future generations to explore the depths of history and art, and to rediscover the timeless vibrancy concealed within the marble canvases of ancient Rome.